No, we uh, might have uh, some here tomorrow. Uh, 750, uh, I think it was 850. It was 850, so that's only down 150. Um, I went around to Warming Center yesterday. Uh, they were all of them that I went to um, were very busy. Yeah. And uh, so we have no plans of closing down any of the uh, community centers yet or uh, police stations. And again, if, if people want to donate uh, non perishable food, um, we always need uh, food and water. So if they can donate that to a uh, community center or a police division, that's also known as police division that I mentioned yesterday. I'm still hoping. What, what do you say to the residents who are angry at being without power for five days? For, you know, people in the city, some of them have gone, you know, looking for a week or two days without power. Many of them, I'm sure you heard complaints from many of them in particular. In I've, I've talked to uh, hundreds of people on, on my ways around the last few days. Try to go to a warming center. Some people just aren't going to leave. Um, we're going to work as quickly as we can with the last uh, 52,000 uh, homes. These are one-offs, as we say, one per house, and that's going to take a lot of time. We have crews from all the municipalities. We can't work any faster than what we're doing. We're, we're doing everything in our power, and I want to thank the crews that I'm going to go over and visit right now uh, before I go to 400 McCown, uh, and thank them for coming in and, and giving up their holidays to help these people, this great city. I, 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 I feel sorry for them. My, my heart bleeds for these people that don't have power for five days. Try to go to a warming center. There is space available at the warming center. Or go to the police divisions. Um, can't force them to leave, though. That's the problem. What, the what area, lessons has the city, city learned? Mayor, what did the clarity say that emergency help no, speed I, up any of this? I, anyway? I, think we, I think we've said that every single day. They have emergency. Um, would not have helped any, anything right now. It would, it, we've done everything in our power. We have municipalities coming in and helping us. Nobody else has declared a state of emergency. I think it's been quite clear, even through the Premier, myself, City Manager, Deputy City Manager, uh, Mr. Haynes, we've all agreed this is not a state of emergency. A state of emergency would have not sped things up whatsoever. We have all the resources. I want to thank uh, the province for helping out. I want to thank all the municipalities um, in Ontario and, and down in the States for helping us out and in Manitoba. Again, in a state of emergency, would have not sped things up whatsoever. It would have just caused undue panic for people. Um, and, and that's what we do not want. We want people to stay calm, and we will get to them as soon as we can. How, well, much, how much of the, the cost is the province covering? Again, again, the cost, we, we don't have numbers in front of us. We haven't just started to begin to crunch the numbers, but that we're going to have to do that. But our priority is to restore the power right now. That's the number one priority. Mayor, what lessons has the city of Lancaster considering this you know, would be the first time you've actually built something out of this magnitude in your mayor office? I, I, w I wouldn't have, I don't, I don't think, uh, call it a lesson learned. It's a very impressive crew that has come together over uh, the most critical time of the year. It's, uh, it's obviously for, um, Christmas being here and seeing the sacrifice. Uh, I am so proud of the staff that we have at the city. Uh, words can't describe it. I can't thank them enough. Um, it's, it's an appreciation. Worry. I wouldn't say there's any lesson learned. Lesson is uh, to be thankful of the staff that we have working for the taxpayers of this great city. It's truly phenomenal that we're here every single day, and they're not just here at press conferences. They're right after this, they're out in the field, they're going to people's houses. Um, it's just an overwhelming number of calls. Obviously, you cannot return 138,000 calls a day that are coming in. We are trying to address people's concerns. I know they're frustrated, um, but we're doing the best we can. So uh, I want to thank our staff. For the tremendous amount of work and the volunteers at Red Cross and the people that are running our community centers and, and our police, um, no one could have done it better than the city, and, and that puts the city up against anyone else in the whole world. So um, I'm very, very proud, and I want to thank each and every one of the people standing behind me for their hard work and dedication. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.